turned on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me, again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. right before she tries to bake us into a cake. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. Yay. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Oh, how convenient for you. When did you get the Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, yes. which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. So, I will tell you this much. Um, I'm very quite fond of the deadly lasers. Ah, messed up. I wasn't thinking of this. Mm. Interesting. Why do I feel dumb all of a sudden? I know what I'm doing. First, man. There we go. Not bad. I forgot how good you are yeah, at this. Yeah, just took me a second. You should pace yourself, stay though. Too, uh, we have a here. lot of tests to do. Oh, yeah. Feels good, huh? This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Yay. There should be one in the corner. Yep, I remember this one. This is the fun. Hey Wheatley, what's up? Okay. I'd like 
to avoid the lasers, you know? Ah, right. Fuck. Gun done fucked it up. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Oh, wow. That must be some fancy testing if you get results for things you aren't testing. <sighs> Don't let that horrible person thing oh, discourage no. you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Tried to jump, thanks. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. See how it is. Left the door open. And I don't want to be a noisy boy. Excuse me for the moment. Ever so gently. One moment. I will wait. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Well, I like knitting, I guess. And, um, so 
Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Exciting news, guys. Tomorrow, I've got a date with Portal 2 with a friend. So, after all, this is completed this single player campaign is completed you'll start seeing those so cool. this next test involves the aperture science aerial faith plate it was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space results were highly informative they could not good luck well, luckily for me, I'm a smart boy. Oh, split seconds. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought Me that too. was interesting. So, I am struggling with one thing with this game. And that is that I don't want to talk over the dialogue, because it's pretty funny to me at least i i know the first time you play through it can be let's see what the next test is oh advanced aerial faith plates well have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world i have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself, by myself. Um. Sorry, I'm 
were still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Because I need that garbage. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Probably can't hear it too well, but it was playing the music. Now I'm having a slight conundrum here. I forget how to get it over there. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking Thanks. about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time yeah, just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Oh, hello, Wheatley. Still sneaking around, I see. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to 
take this cube and do a little jumpy boy. Which one? No, this one. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the that test area. Not. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Hmm. What if I want to? Is there a possible way... ...to... ...get companion cube? not. Wait. Yes, there is. <laughs> I did it, bitch. Ooh, and I got an achievement for that. I think that one was about to say... I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Uh, speaking of this, the, the companion cubes being sentient, um, I recently, not recently, it was a while ago, but um, I saw a theory on the cubes that um, fill your test subjects. This next test involves Science emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Yeah. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Oops, don't want to do that yet. Ouch. Well, the fuck? Ah, 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 ah. Just stay. of the funds. All the funds. The return. Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, I didn't, didn't you? you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Mm, this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your 
Generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. The bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. That's weird, man. Why you gotta be all weird? Bizarre. I wish I could figure out how to, like, speedish runish this game. Because I can do it with the first one. You guys witnessed that. I beat it in close to an hour. Obviously, multiple episodes, so easier to digest. Enjoy this next Hi. test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday, I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Welly, 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 well. If I were me, and a me, doing me, really you, I would have to say that, uh, that's not working. I would not mean so well. Oddly how that laser is not hurting me. Momentum bitches. Ah, oh, so close. But Didn't I fucking just line this up. Let's 
excuse me, but I say what? Because I forget. This is the only laser I have. the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than oh, I'll ever need. Just the one? Because, uh, there's a lot of dead ones down the basement. Just saying. Alright, friends. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm Sam Samza. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.